close to 200 shots were fired during the hail of gunfire. Police releasing <clears> video <throat> showing just how bad it was out there. Warning, these images are disturbing. The gunshots actually continued well wow. beyond the length Look of the that gathering, man. Whenever there's a sun gathering, this is something that that like has got to be DNA. The psychopathy, the 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 sociopathy of shooting into a crowd. You know what I'm saying? Like of having a problem with this guy and just shooting into this entire crowd having a problem with this person right here and then just shooting everybody down here that's a that's a that's a level of psychopathy because you don't you don't have empathy for the other people that are standing around you can't think about how they would feel being shot you know what i'm saying or how or if that was or if you were standing there how you would feel if you were just standing there chilling, having a good time, and somebody shot you because they were mad at somebody else. The gunshots actually continued well beyond the length of this short video clip. Police Chief Scott Ryskowski says multiple homes, cars, and people were all hit. Again, four people are injured as far as police are aware of right now. One of them seriously injured. And developing now in Elkhart, a man... Yeah, shout out to um, shout out to my man um, Dre Wood. He says as soon as he gets on, he says the N word twice. I sense a saboteur. Yeah, yeah, facts. Um, he was he. They were saying everything he just said about Brandon Taylor. They were saying about him in 2024. 2024, he was he was he was man. Amazing Lucas was like exact the exact opposite of what he is now. I've I've never seen a YouTuber. Yo, do you do you know what made him flip flop? Well, not flip flop, but I mean, it Probably, seems like bro. flip flop because he yeah, he, he definitely so hard. I think he definitely. suffered a brain injury. Wait, wait it was girl. Floyd. It was Floyd. Yeah, I think it was the woman. I, no, I think it was at, it was after Floyd. I think it was kind of like twenty twenty one. It hasn't been that long. Um, I think it was twenty twenty one. I think that he, um, yeah, it was, it was, it was twenty twenty one. Um, it wasn't even like a gradual. Yeah, and it was, and it wasn't gradual. Yeah, it was like one video. He sounded like, yeah, he sounded like literally. Sound like Tatum like, a little bit. Yeah, worse than Tatum. He was worse than Tatum. Oh, he was going he harder than Tatum. Tatum. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely without a doubt. And um, because Tatum has as is, is measured and. You know, he got the God aspect with him. The, the oh, yeah, he doesn't even curse and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, Mason Lucas Lucas. was off the chain. Yeah, he was he was off he was off the chain. Um and it was like one it well, yeah, you're right, it wasn't gradual. That's why I said I think it was a woman, man. I think he met a woman that was more. Oh, you think it was a chick? <laughs> oh. It's always a woman, no matter what. Wow. When it's a with a man, it's always a woman. And if he's if he's if he's straight, if he's hetero, it's always a woman. Wow. Um, you know, money or a woman? Clock, and we've got a lot of news to get to tonight. We hope you're safe from Joshua Shore. And I'm Lauren Moss. Disgusting and heartbreaking. That's how Thanks. one resident in the South Bend neighborhood around Coquillard Park yeah. is describing the mayhem that took she place early Sunday straight. morning. Mark Peterson has been gathering reaction for us. He joins us live in studio with more. Hey, Mark. Again, police say more than 200 shots fired in and around the 1200 block of Bissell Street. Four people hit by gunfire, along with countless houses, cars, even trash cans. This Four people out of 200 shots. Bissell Street early Sunday morning where a crowd had clearly formed. This is the sound of some of the 200 plus gunshots that dispersed the crowd. The orange paint in this alley shows where one of the four shooting victims came to rest about 10 feet away from the home of a resident who didn't want to be identified, but did identify the holes left behind by the four bullets that hit their home. 
and the two that hit their trash can. Past situation, we've got uh, people in the hospital, we've got people hurt, we've got parents, you know, uh, at bedside, you know, uh, uh, hurt, crying, you know, trying to understand what's going on. It's it, it's just crazy, and most of it is for nothing. You know, w what's the reason for it? Why can't you and I get along uh, without uh, trying to kill each other or hurt each other with guns? This is two components. Obviously, it's criminal. There are criminals that are doing this. It is a crime to do this. Um, but there's a human aspect that doesn't seem to be any regard for human life or safety. A, a, a couldn't care less attitude. There are there are parents, there are siblings, there are friends who know people are running around here with rifles, with drum drum magazines, automatic weapons, and say and do nothing. Anthony White lives about a block over from the shooting spree. He called it disgusting and heartbreaking, but says he'll continue to call the neighborhood home. I'm I'm not moving. I'm staying where I'm at. It was one of those things that happened. This is a, a beautiful community, and um, that was a spoiler. It can happen in anybody's neighborhood in America, and uh, it's one of those things that happened, and we just move forward, and we pray that things will work out for the best. Thank God the Senator shooters James were back. Mueller issuing a written statement right. calling the shootings Thank unacceptable, yeah, saying, Thank, Thank the Lord Jesus above that the shooters were sons so that almost nobody got shot. Four people out of over 200 shots fired. Thank God yeah. the sons were on, on, the, on the watch that night. Yeah, only four out of 200? That's embarrassing. <laughs> That's now, it's possible some people got shot more than once, so let's not, you know, we don't. We have to get all the data. <laughs> yeah. This is yeah. A sun a sun shooting like this happens, and everybody's on some like muted. Um, look at the bigger picture. See silver line and shit. We gotta put the guns and, down. You know, it's a nice neighborhood too. I mean, they're very accepting and open of this trans person here on our screen. I think uh, yeah, it's a shame that we're as big as hell, bro. <clears throat> it's a shame these kids are ruining what the the a great neighborhood. Yeah, this is this is a great neighborhood, man. Um, all things are nah, right. if this nigga in here, I don't. I'm just it's already <laughs> sketchy to me. The shooting is one thing, but I don't want to live on a street with this guy. Uh, uh, the bash. Mayor James Mueller issuing a written statement calling the shootings unacceptable, saying the shooters need to be held accountable. And, of course, he urged the community to share any information they have to help end this cycle of gun violence. Four for 200 okay, is unacceptable. Reporting. Meanwhile, we're also hearing from the president of the East Side Reunion Committee, Fannie Mac, who sent us this statement. The East Side Reunion Committee hosts an event every two years at Coquillard Park that has always been safe and professionally organized. Keep in mind, the shooting happened not far from said park, which is why they're issuing this statement. It goes on to say, we hire South Bend Police as security to ensure safety, and this event was safe. Our event ended at 6 p.m. sharp, and the incident that occurred happened hours after our event ended and was no way connected. Also keep in, in mind, other there were several events happening in the city of South Bend. 